Hey, casual tutorial time. Let's learn some yoga tricks. So, a couple years ago when I started uh, casual tutorials, the first one I did was with this uh, Z Flip sort of mount, and I talked about how you can get into a bunch of different other interesting mounts from it. And I talked about how that whole system is similar to uh, when you're in the kamikaze mount, you can do a bunch of stuff that's similar to that, but it's a little different. What I know now, of course, is that those two systems are very much related. So, if you start in a 1.5, give it a little hug, you're in a kamikaze. Give your kamikaze a little hug, you're in a double or nothing. So, the thing uh, that I've been thinking about more recently is, are there other systems that have similar properties to that? Just uh, that you can do similar tricks to those, but you have something... Uh, a little bit different, maybe that doesn't connect to those in such a easy, concrete way. And I covered something that I think is like this a little while ago in the video that I called Reach Across. It's like this. You see you're in sort of a kamikaze map with a little twist in the string. And you can do a lot of the same sort of stuff that you do in the uh, normal kamikaze map, including the hug, into uh, Something that is kind of like a double or nothing, but not really, because the strings are twisted. So anyway, I do recommend experimenting with it. It is really fun, so again, just to repeat how you do that, uh, you uh, just grab a cross, and then swing the yo-yo over your throw hand. And then you're in this here. Another way to get into uh, a related thing would be if you start in a uh, 1.5 mount, and then, instead of going into your uh, sort of Z-flip sort of position from the front, come in from the back. And now you're in this sort of system where it's, uh, in order to get from here to the one we were doing before that's more like the kamikaze mount, again, if you just do a hug, you're there. Alright. So now that I've established that, I want to talk a little bit about the rest of now, okay? Uh, uh, I showed you how you have the kamikaze mount and a bunch of different things that uh, our new reach across system has an equivalent for. What would be the equivalent for the wrist mount? So, in the normal uh, kamikaze mount, if you reach your throw hand through the, the mount, you end up in a wrist mount. Just a normal wrist mount. Okay, not super interesting, but yeah. What happens if we do that same sort of thing? with our uh, reach across system. So, there we are. If we reach straight through, we're in a trapeze. That is uh, uninteresting. So, uh, we'll have to change it a little bit, but we'll get through it. Okay, so instead of pushing your throw hand through, pull the throw hand back, and we're in a sort of twisted wrist mount. Okay, and this has a bunch of names I've heard. I've heard it referred to as a reverse bucket, or a reverse wrist mount, uh, but a bunch of interesting stuff you can do from here. Okay, but uh, I guess first let's talk a little bit about the actual structure of the thing. It's similar to a wrist mount, but instead of coming into the triangle from the top, you go up through the triangle from the bottom. Then from here, you can mount on uh, this short string here, like this, or you can mount on the long string that's going across the bottom from the front, or from the back, or uh, however you want. Right? And there are a bunch of things you can do from this map that I think are worth talking about. Uh, one of them would be... Uh, let's see, you can do this in the uh, normal wrist mount as well, but it's kind of cool to do it in the reverse one. It would be, if instead of coming all the way through the triangle, you uh, land in, sort of, you mount onto the triangle, you have the sort of locked position like this, and you can do a repeater here, like that, which I think is pretty fun. So, there, like that. Right, uh, a few more things. Uh, from the uh, wrist mount, there is a uh, magic drop. I sort of missed it, but that's the idea. You can do a uh, magic drop like that. So, uh, you can do a similar thing to that from our uh, reverse bucket. So, uh, mount in from the front, 
then do the same sort of thing there. Okay, so again, if you mount in from the front, do a magic drop, you'll land on that string. Also, from this string, it's kind of like a trapeze. You can push it forward to get a rejection. Uh, not sure that I'll be able to do it, but you can also uh, sometimes get it to work from uh, behind the arm. Uh, it's a little hard to land, but uh, it's pretty cool when you get it to work. And so, uh, I think it's a cool, interesting mount. Uh, I think it's worth experimenting with, and when you realize how it's related to uh, this reach across system, there's a bunch of cool things that you can do switching between that reverse bucket and that sort of more kamikaze-ish sort of uh, system. One last thing to leave you with on that note would be, uh, well, so if you do a normal kamikaze mount, and you do a uh, clover pluck, so hop up, grab, and land, you're in a Houdini mount. Right? If you do that same thing from our reach across kamikaze, you're in a reverse bucket. Okay? Uh, also, I guess one more thing that is worth pointing out is that uh, with the uh, normal wrist mount, you hop out the back and you let go. Uh, that does, if I'm getting this correct, work for the uh, reverse bucket if you're uh, landing in from the front. Uh, I'm not sure about the other directions or other ways you can mount in it. That's something that you'll have to experiment with for yourself. Anyway, hope you had fun. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.